So here's the problem. We're looking at sales for 2022 for bookcases. And you'll see that we have some positive and some negative values. But I want to display this as an area chart. And I want to have two colors, one for the positive and one for the negative. But when I drag profit onto color, I only get a single color. Tableau doesn't allow us to have multiple colors for an area chart. But in this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a view like this that has two colors, one for positive and one for negative. Let's get started. For those of you that are new here, my name's Andy. I created this channel to help you become great at Tableau. If you like what you're seeing, please don't forget to subscribe. I put out lots of content every week and I don't want you to miss a thing. We're starting with this sheet that's already filtered to 2022 and bookcases. We wanna look at this data at a weekly level. Right click and drag order date to the columns and choose continuous weeks. Click on okay. Drag profit to the rows. Change the mark type to area. Drag profit for a second time onto the rows. And now we have two area charts. Right click on the first profit axis and choose edit axis. In the range, set it to fixed. Set the fixed start to zero and change the end from fixed end to automatic. And then go ahead and remove the title. Close that window. Right click on the bottom axis and choose edit axis. This time we're gonna do it the opposite direction. Choose fixed. We're gonna change fixed start to automatic and we're gonna set the fixed end to zero. And once again, remove your title. And now you'll see it looks like we have two area charts in one. On the first sum of profit marks card, click on color, and let's make it blue. On the second sum of profit marks card, click on color and make it red. Obviously you can pick any two colors that you like. And it looks like we're almost done. However, we need to set the scales so that they're relative to each other. For example, our top scale looks like it goes to 500 and our bottom scale looks like it goes to 400. So we want to make sure that they're the same, both top and bottom. To do that, create a new calculated field. I'm going to call it max value. The calculation is window max and then the absolute of the sum of profit. Make sure you match up the number of brackets on the right hand side. Click on OK. On the data pane, right click on max value and duplicate. Edit the copy. I'm going to rename it max value negative and all I need to do is put a minus sign in front of the window max click on OK go to the all marks card and drag both of those fields onto the detail shelf right click on the first axis and choose add reference line in the value choose max value set the label to none the tooltip to none click on the line and set the line to none and then make sure you untick the show recalculate option Click on OK. Right click on the bottom axis and choose Add Reference Line. Change the value to Max Value Negative. Set the label to None, the tooltip to None, the line to None, and untick the Show Recalculate option. Click on OK. So now what we've done with our reference lines is we've set them to the same value both top and bottom. And now the scales are the same for the negative values and for the positive values. The next thing we need to do is a bit of formatting. Right click in the view and choose format. Go to the borders option. Set the row divider to none, the column divider to none. But notice we have two zeros now on the axis. So right click on the first axis and choose format. In the scale option, choose number custom, zero decimals, and then choose the custom option on the left hand side. What we want to do now is add another semicolon and a space. And that's going to help us format the zero. Now notice the zero is gone. That's because we've replaced it with a space. Now we want to add a header on the left hand side for our axis. Double click in the rows and type in profit inside of double quotes. Right click on profit on the left hand side and choose rotate label. Right click on the field label for the rows and choose hide. Now you can format the axis header. So right click on profit and choose format. Let's make it maybe 12 point and black. If we hover over a mark now, our tooltips are a bit of a mess. On the rows, click on Profit and uncheck Include in Tooltip. On the Marks card, click on Max Value, uncheck Include in Tooltip. For Max Value negative, uncheck Include in Tooltip. And now our tooltip is much cleaner. And there you have it, a two-colored area chart. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Yes, I do know this is more difficult than it probably should be, but now that you have the steps, it should be pretty easy to recreate. If you learned something in this video, 
please leave me a comment with a goal that you might have for 2023. Please also give it a like. That helps others find it. And remember, I created this channel to help you become great at Tableau. So don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Happy New Year, everyone.